Welcome back to Delore Factor Live. Well, I'm sure you're wondering who was that, but I'm sure it also got you back to those days, those famous black and white photographs. So, Joyce, I want to just go back to your roots. So, tell us about your mother. What's her name? And, and tell us ab about her. Yeah. My mother's name is Derenese, fondly known as Dera, Miss Dera. Mm -hmm. And um, she was born in Labrie. And her parents were Elias and uh, Medelis Ogis. They had um, seven children, oh. and my mother is the third of the seven. And uh, well, all of them are deceased now. Mm -hmm. And um, she, she was a seamstress. She sewed um, uh, for people, and. Uh, very hum I think that's where I got my humility from and my drive to anything I start, never give up, just continue. And uh, she was a no-nonsense person, you know, if you tell her something she doesn't like, she'll tell you, you know, what she, if she thinks about it and forget it. And I think I'm that way too, you know. Mm. And um, she, sa she had a beautiful voice, really. She sang in the lab choir mm -hmm. because my grandfather, her father, was the organist at Labrie. And I think that's where I got yes. some of the music talents and so on. And she, when she came to Castries to stay with Robert, so she never really worked out. She just stayed at home and, and she, we lived on Chisel Street. And when I came up to meet them, to join them, she had her two children she loved here live there with her. Mm -hmm. So in, in in all, that's what I can see about her. Very gentle woman, mm -hmm. very quiet, you know. And um, and what about your, your brother, Robert? What was he like? Robert, oh, wonderful individual. Because Robert, at the age of 18, 19, he wanted a sister. Mm -hmm. And that's Robert As there in the picture? Yes, yes and Robert. And your, you your mom? Yeah. Okay. And, y and you? Of course. Wow. You know. <laughs> and um, he... My Aunt Edith, you know, he told uh, that my aunt how she wanted a sister. So she said, you must pray for one. So every night they used to pray. And until about a year after, they were at I. And um, my aunt told me later on that as soon as I was born and so on, he forgot the prayers. Because he, <laughs> oh dear. he got what he wanted and he <laughs> said he would give her the best of everything, which he did. Mm -hmm. Because he's the one who um, saw about my education mm -hmm. when he went to England. My music fees, and because in the, at the convent, the music fees was more expensive than ordinary school fees. Mm -hmm. So he sent, at that time, it was $15 for um, school fees and $16 for music fees. So he sent it direct to the convent. So we had no problem with that. Mm -hmm. So he saw about my education, which he promised he would do. And then later on, as I said, he saw about my music. Mm -hmm. You speak about your mother and your brother a lot. Yeah. What about your father? My father, I got to know my father years, um, when I was about 20, 21 years old. Because he left St. Lucia. My father was a Barbadian. Mm -hmm. St. Clair, Alexander St. Clair Prescott. Because the Prescott family, there's one on a, a dollar bill in, um, and also their musical family. Mm. And um, I have about, um, the, he had um, seven children, three. I have three, I had four sisters and um, two brothers. But I have two si sisters and now deceased. One died last year in me and the one the following year. And Mr. Downs, you know, who was a Barbadian, and you know, in those days, you had quite a few um, Barbadians, priests, um, I said priests, mm. policemen, mm -hmm. and they were all at few fought, you know, with the, the, the Americans and Beanfield and so on. Mm -hmm. So that's where my, my father met my mother, mm -hmm. and of course, she was a very attractive woman, you know. So, and um, he left before I was born. And when Mr. Downs was going back to returning to Barbados after a number of years in St. Lucia, he took, I just won the Miss CSA <laughs> competition. Yes, yeah, so we're going to show some pictures of that because um, so gorgeous. My picture 
was on the voice mm -hmm. of St. Lucia. So he clipped that off and he told me, Joyce, when I get to Barbados, I will take this to your Aunt Luetta. She lives in St. Philip, the same place. Mm -hmm. And when one day I just got a, a, a call, Joyce, this is Marie, your sister. And he did it, and they were next minute, about a month after, there they were in St. Lucia. They came to meet their sister, because I'm the eldest child of my father. Mm -hmm. And from there, there was no turning back, the greatest respect. We had a family reunion, you know, and um, we communicate on a weekly basis. So that void I had during that time, Mr. Dongs was able, able to put that right. But how come someone who's coming from a large family, so many siblings, how come you have not had any children of your own and remained single? Well, because of my love for my mother and brother. They did the best for me. They gave me the best in life, sent me to um, England, sent me to a convent hostel. But surely as a young time, woman, a very beautiful young yeah. woman, wi winning beauty comp contests and so on, you must have had some suitors. Oh, quite a few. <laughs> but um, not many, I would say, but because I concentrated more on my mother and brother. Because at one time, um, towards the end of my studies in England, that's when I got the Commonwealth Award. I was just doing a few of the um, courses before returning to St. Lucia. He got ill and he had to return to St. Lucia. And um, I thought these are the two people who brought me out in the world. He wanted a sister, he got a sister. My mother took wonderful care of both her children. And it was my turn now to take care of them. Mm -hmm. And um, I was the breadwinner because he was ill and my mother stayed home. So having them there and the love they, um, I had for them, I did not have time to, what, how can I take care of them if, if I was married or if not married and have children, you know? I wouldn't have been able to do that. Not the and way that you wanted to, because to there are just so many people that that's how, that's how yeah. they live their life, really. Yeah. But my mother always wanted a grandchild, mm -hmm. you know. But Did your brother have any children? No, oh. no, Robert, um, he did not have any children. And um, he, when we, we got there, so my mother, you know, we took care of Robert. And um, there again, when I got to the music instructor for schools, that's the time I put all my energy in initiating these programs, music broadcast to schools, um, teachers college, you know, junior choir competition, you know, doing all these things. I do not have time. I had no. time for the children. That's how I love uh, I, um, I, my love for children. And I can see that every time I research you, I see you with, you know, children, mm -hmm. lots of children. And when we come back, we're going to show some pictures of Joyce growing up and the children she worked with and much more. So make sure you stay with us on DBS and Delore Factor Life. See you soon.